everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I want to talk about my five favorite tools that I use in the kitchen to support my cooking style and also just tools I thoroughly enjoy to help me cook the way that I like to cook. Now, these are my favorite tools that I've developed over the years of cooking, just cooking for my style or cooking Filipino food. These are the tools that just have really supported me through thick and thin, so I really love them the most. And maybe you can use these kitchen tools yourself to cook some of my recipes that I show here or to support yourself in the way you cook as well at home or in the kitchen at a restaurant or a pop-up or anything. So my first favorite tool is the fish spatula and I love this tool so much. It's super versatile. It's very strong and, f and flexible. The reason why I love the fish spatula is because there's so many use cases for it that I use it when I'm cooking. And since it's really strong, uh, I don't use it, of course, with non-stick skillets. This will damage it as it is a metal spatula. But what I love most about it is that you can use it for anything. Super versatile. Uh, the strong metal part, you can use it for chopping up meats or, or soft vegetables when you're cooking a stir fry. You can also use it for stirring. It's super lightweight. I also like to use the fish spatula for cooking fish or pressing things down to make it extra crispy. So when you're pushing it down on the pan, you can make sure all of that surface area is getting lots of heat and pressure and pushing it down, especially with your proteins, your fish. It's perfect for that. Fish spatula is also really great for scraping under things. The flexible, bendable metal part can just scoop right under things and flip it over. Get right under it so you can flip the fish over and not destroy the crispy skin that you've developed, probably under a cast iron skillet. Also, the fish spatula is really useful for picking things up, either from a sheet tray or in the pan, or also when you're maybe frying something, you can also use the fish spatula to scoop under it. And since there's some metal slots here, you can use it to drain out any oil or pull food out of hot water. And yeah, as you can see, you can use the fish spatula for many different things and it's my favorite tool. And this one I have here is by Winko. I think I got it on Amazon for super cheap. And I have a couple of these handy whenever I'm cooking, inside or outside, and it's super useful. But remember, don't use this on your nonstick skillets. Don't damage it. So my second favorite tool is the cast iron skillet. Super trustworthy and durable pan to cook with. Super strong. And the reason why I love this tool as well is it's because it's very versatile and it retains heat when you're cooking. With my style of cooking, I like to make my proteins super crispy or my vegetables and I really trust a cast iron skillet every time to make my food super crispy. Because it retains heat, it really helps out with crisping up my food, giving me that texture I want. Especially when you do high heat cooking, the cast iron skillet is really good for that as it retains the heat. With my cast iron skillet, I like to use it on the stove top, throw it into the grill, or even throw it into the oven, depending on whatever I'm cooking. If you throw it in the oven, you can use it for frittatas, or roasting your chicken, or any proteins on the stove top. Use it to sear steak, I do that often. Or when I wanna cook something on the grill, but not directly on the grates, you can use a cast iron skillet and just kinda throw it in there, and it'll be totally fine with that high heat. Some people are kind of afraid of a cast iron skillet because it requires a little bit of maintenance. But honestly, it's not that much more work. It probably takes an additional two to five minutes to clean. Uh, but that's not much more work. And it, the, the benefits you get from cooking with a cast iron skillet outweigh that small bit of maintenance that requires you to upkeep your pan. So my third favorite kitchen tool is a instant read thermometer. And the reason why I love this tool is because I care a lot about heat precision in my food, especially when I'm cooking my proteins. You know, when I cook a steak, I love it medium rare. So I like to make sure and not play any guessing games that it's hitting the temperature that I want around 120, 125. Also, I love using it to check the temperature of water that I've boiled. Uh, you know, in this household, we like to make tons of matcha lattes. And remember, don't burn your matcha with boiling water. You want to make sure it's at around 175 degrees so you can not burn the matcha, but bring out the L-theanine and its properties. And you can make sure you do that by knowing how hot your water is. 
The instant read thermometer is also helpful for checking out the temperature of your oil if you're frying anything. You know, sometimes you like to fry things around 350 and you don't want it to be too hot or under as that can mess up your cooking process and time. So make sure you know how hot your things are so you can cook the way you want and get the results that you want. For number four, my next favorite kitchen tool is the blender. And not just the blender itself, but also the self-serve size blender or the one you make for smoothies and shakes. The reason why this is my fourth favorite tool is because with my cooking style, I love to make lots of marinades for my meats, uh, also making salsas, and you need a blender to kind of blend it all up. This comes in handy when I need to make my marinades and add lots of depth of flavor in my meats. So the day before, I love to make my marinades and sometimes just using this self-serve container size is the perfect amount to marinate the meat in or create enough salsa for, for two for dinner or for lunch. Uh, sometimes I use a molcajete, but when it comes to speed and convenience, this small little guy is perfect for doing the job. My fifth favorite kitchen tool is this Headley Invented apron. It is my favorite apron. It's got tons of pockets. Not only does it make me look super fresh and clean and super dope, but it has tons of pockets. Uh, Sharpie, put it right here. Boop. I got my instant read thermometer, put it in here. Boop. And also for my kitchen towels, I got pockets right here. Super convenient. There's a pocket here, pocket here, pocket here. I got three pockets. And it's super sturdy and it's kept me clean while I'm cooking. I also love to wear it when I'm doing dishes and splashing water everywhere. So love it, it's super high quality and I can't wait to buy more. And for a bonus round for my favorite kitchen tools, I really love deli cups. This may be the Filipino side of me that really loves to be resourceful. I love collecting all of the deli cups uh, when I get food delivery and I keep them because it's super useful for storing food super cheap, easy to clean, super lightweight, and you know when I have leftovers, can put it in these bigger deli cups, the quarts, and I can also put smaller things like freshly cut vegetables that I, I didn't use all of them, I can put them in the pints, and it's super useful, super lightweight, and as you can see in the fridge, I like to keep things super organized. With the deli cups here, I got some extra stir-fry sauce, I labeled it. Uh, yeah, it keeps things organized and fresh and helps things last longer. So shout out to all the Filipino moms who taught us to be resourceful with food containers. So that is all today for my five favorite tools in the kitchen, plus the bonus of deli cups. And if you really like this video as well, please watch this next video here. Please subscribe for more cooking tips or more recipes. If you also have any questions or things you'd like to see, please leave them down in the comments below. And thanks again for watching. Peace.